swarmers, welcome back to The Hive. In today's video, we're talking about World Wildlife Day, which is celebrated every year on March 3rd to raise awareness about all of the wild animal and plant species that make up the incredible biodiversity of our planet. Our planet is only habitable because of the myriad of fauna, flora, and living creatures that interact together and consequently make the food we eat, the air we breathe, the energy we depend on, and the resources we need. Despite their essential role in humankind's survival, so much of our wildlife is in danger of destruction due to unsustainable human activities and severe exploitation of species habitats and ecosystems. For perspective, nearly one-fourth of all species on Earth are currently at risk of extinction in the upcoming decades. Their loss will put other species, including humans, in danger, as humans rely on healthy ecosystems to get enough food to eat and make a living. In fact, humans living in poverty are already at risk because biodiversity is essential to their survival. 75% of the poor live in rural areas and depend on nature for food. For example, overfishing and pollution dramatically decreased the volume and diversity of fish stocks in Sierra Leone, a country on the southwest coast of West Africa, where fish is the only protein available for the local villagers. Besides food security, why would the loss of a species matter? Well, wildlife actually helps mitigate climate change. For example, in North America, wolves control moose populations and moose feast on tree saplings. Controlling moose populations thereby results in more trees, increased carbon absorption, and increased net productivity, which all help protect against climate change. By preying on these herbivores, wolves also indirectly help decrease erosion and improve water quality. Another example of animals helping forests store carbon that would have otherwise been released into the atmosphere is seen when animals like toucans and elephants eat the large fruits in many tree species in tropical rainforests. These animals help disperse the tree's seeds, which thereby enables more trees to grow that will store carbon. If it were not for these animals, studies show that the loss of these tree species would result in as much as 10% drop in the carbon storage potential in tropical rainforests. In the ocean, a similar relationship between wildlife and carbon storage exists. For example, sea otters eat sea urchins and urchins eat kelp. When this does not occur, more sea urchins eat more kelp a large underwater plant that dampens coastal waves and currents, decreases coastal erosion, and absorbs and stores carbon. In North America, if sea otter populations were restored to keep sea urchins in check, it could result in an estimated 4.4 million to 8.7 million tons of carbon stored in kelp forests. In addition to food security and the mitigation of climate change, wildlife is crucial to people's livelihoods. Wildlife exists in all of the ecosystems that sustain people's livelihoods, oceans, forests, mountains, and pasturelands. According to the World Economic Forum, $44 trillion, which is more than half of the world's GDP, is bound to nature. Further in the Global South, 1.6 billion people depend on forests, and around the world, three-fourths of jobs depend on water. With wildlife and their habitats diminishing, livelihoods are being lost. If we make an effort to sustain wildlife, more jobs can be created, which is what happened in Honduras when the Honduras Forest and Rural Productivity Project supported the conservation and sustainable management of rural regions and forests in Honduras. This resulted in increasing community incomes by over 300% and also created over 8,000 jobs. Likewise, in 251 communes, over 307,665 hectares in Albania, the World Bank introduced participatory forest and pasture management, 
This enabled sustainable management of community resources, reforestation of 1,634 hectares, and an 8% increase in incomes for participating families. Another instance where investments in biodiversity created jobs and raised incomes was when the Global Environment Facility's $5.5 million investment in South Africa's Greater Addo Elephant National Park sparked millions in private sector investment and created 614 jobs for people living in the surrounding areas. When we protect animals and plants, we are also protecting the ecosystems that underlie our economies and well-being. Like with the World Bank supported reforestation in the hills of Rio, Brazil. Reforestation decreased communities' risk from landslides, restored trees that absorb carbon dioxide, and earned revenue generating carbon credits. Additionally, wildlife returned to the area, such as canaries, bluebirds, toucans, and monkeys. This healthy wildlife population signaled that the water table, which provides reliable water for Rio, is stable. Remember, everything is connected. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us, Swarmers. We love you. We're so grateful for you. Happy World Wildlife Day. Spend a little time today reflecting on what this day might mean to you. And please drop a comment below and let us know. We would love to hear from you. Stay safe out there, stay sustainable, and we will see you next time.